we have four different types of Granny Square Christmas tree decorations. All have been made basically the same way, just finished a little bit differently. Here's one. It's red with gold trim. Here's a white one. It has been made using a fluffy wool as well as silver thread. This blue one is slightly smaller and has beads in all the corners. And here's a glittery red one with a green center. And here's how you do it. You need four small granny squares. They are two row granny squares. I'm first showing how to assemble these because I know that many people who are watching this uh, know how to make granny squares. And at the end of the video, I'm showing how to crochet it, if you don't know. So you need four. And if you look at this one carefully, uh, there's a chain, crochet chain in the middle. So you pile them up. And then you need to decide if you're going to crochet them together or sew them together. You do that diagonally from corner to corner. Here I'm going to crochet them together. So I need yarn and the crochet hook and uh, just make the starting loop. And I pick one corner, one, two, three, four, all of them. I left a long tail in case I want to make the hanging loop from it. There. Turn it and then I make another stitch, just a chain stitch into the same. Then you need to tighten it and then through the next one just check that you go from the same place in each of them. And then the middle. And so on. You need quite long stitches so it stays right. And the last one there and then a stitch here. And uh, so now it's all together and um, I'll finish off the yarn. Now I can see how it goes. So it opens up like this here. And then you can continue to do whatever um, embellishments you want on it. Like this here or tassels or just use your imagination. I just love all sorts of glittery and shiny and unusual novelty yarns. And anytime I see any, I buy. And all of these can be used in Christmas decorations. And now I'm showing how to make a two row granny square. So first the starting loop and you chain five. And you join it using a slip stitch I'm using the American crochet turns but I try to remember to mention the British one too then you chain three for the first double crochet which is treble in the British terms and then you do two double crochets into the ring Another one. Like this. Then you chain two. Pull 
pulling it up a bit to make space and then three double crochets into the ring. Uh, you may notice that I'm keeping the tail of the yarn in such a way that it goes inside my crochet so I can then just cut it off without having to weave it in separately. So three double crochets. Here. And then you do this twice more so that you get four groups. So uh, chain two and twice a group of three double crochets. So that's that done and I have two chain stitches here and I need to attach them to the start of the row using a slip stitch like that. Now there are many ways of starting a, a new row in granny squares and I'll show you the one I always use which I find is the easiest. You chain three. So you make the next double crochet into the gap behind the stitches where you are at the moment. So here. You just let it go over the chain you just made. And you make another one. and then chain one and a group of three double crochets into the next corner and now you are at the corner and you need two chain stitches And another group of three treble, uh, sorry, three double crochets, trebles in the British terms. So this is how you get the corner. And then you continue the same way. So chain one and two groups of three double crochets in the next corner with two chain stitches in between and you do that into both of these corners. So that's that done and then I need to finish the starting corner. Chain one and three double crochets into the same hole where the starting ones are. That's three. And then you chain two and attach it to the start of the row with a slip stitch. And then I normally do one stitch before cutting the yarn there. And um, you can cut the starting yarn if you have crocheted into the stitches. So here's one done. And then you can of course do any kind of things after it. Like um, here I have some glittery yarn so I could just a row of uh, single crochets around this. So that I can start it anywhere. Again leaving the tail into my crochet. And, uh, single crochet into each stitch there's that one and then just use whatever you can think of sewing on beads or using novelty yarns and uh, tassels whatever hope you enjoy making many of these